Welcome to Back to the Bible. Today's topic, we want to see the baby. We want to see the baby. That's what people say in hospital corridors, at church or wherever they see an infant. Oh, look at her tiny hands and she's got such long fingers. She will probably play the piano. Now look at those broad little shoulders. It looks as if you've got a football player here. Why do people want to see the baby? What force drives them to look searchingly at an infant's tiny face? Maybe it's meaning. When you see a baby, do you notice only the amount and shade of the hair, the resemblances to relatives, the captivating smile? Or do you look beyond and ponder the child's promise and potential? Another baby claims our attention every christmas season one born in a manger nearly 2000 years ago the baby jesus we can't literally gaze into his face today but we know enough about him to realize that the meaning of his life is crucial to the meaning in our lives let's take an imaginary journey to bethlehem in search of new meaning in the life of the baby born there so long ago we will renew our acquaintance with people from bible days and learn more about their anticipation of and search for that same child francis ridley havergal tells in his poem jesus came and came for me simple words and yet expressing depths of holy mystery depths of wondrous love and blessing holy spirit make me see all his coming means for me take the things of christ i pray show them to my heart today verse for today as the deer pants for the water brooks so my soul longs for you o god my soul thirsts for god for the living god Psalm 42 verses 1 and 2 Your step for today Determine to be consistent in your devotional time this month Set aside a time and a place to meditate and pray each day For today write down one thing that the life and the death of the baby born in Bethlehem means to you Prayer for today Ask the Lord for a thirst for him ask him to make your devotions during this christmas season very profitable god bless you